Yeah. Why right? wouldn't you? Say it all the time. If by outsourcing to a PEO, you can reduce your bottom line, is it worth it to you? And you start to really get into the fine, you know, the feature benefits go so much deeper, so much deeper. I mean, we haven't even gotten into the health plans, right? And I know we got about a minute here before break, but <clears throat> excuse me, um, you know, having day one Fortune 500 benefits, right? Same thing. People get sick. The, how? Who? What are my rights? How does the plan work? You know, having a health spe- – I've been doing this for 20 years. I'm still not a health specialist. I'm not. You're right? I'm not. But we make sure that we've got the right person on the job if and when you're getting the benefits through the PEO. Also times – oftentimes at a discounted rate. And then if you get into 50 and over and you have to get into Affordable Care Act compliance, right, that comes at 50 employees and up, that's mm-hmm. a mandate that you buy through that platform. No one understands that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we, it's almost cringe. It's uh, one of the tools that I'm starting to see being used right now to get and keep good employees. Um, so, again, being educated on the benefit side as well, just jumping on board with a PEO will be beneficial for you. 